Hello Saints and uh, by the grace of God, future Saints. Today's study, we're going to look at a, a question that comes to me from another dear Saint. And the question was concerning the ten virgins. Specifically, the question was, what about the people who are left behind at the rapture, the other five of the ten virgins? Okay, the first, first things first here. The question itself is out of context, okay, and it and uh, it's out of dispensational structure, okay. So let me rephrase the question: Who are the virgins in the parable of the ten virgins in Matthew 25? Okay, by rightly dividing, we'll get to the bottom of this question, and my hope is it will bring edification to my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. So let's take a look at Matthew 25 verses 1 through 13. Here Jesus is talking about, uh, he's telling the Jews about a parable. Okay, keep in mind, Jesus is here teaching the world about the coming kingdom, uh, the kingdom of heaven on earth that he was about to unveil to the world if they wouldn't have crucified him. Okay, and he's also telling them that this kingdom that was going to come will be postponed now I need to also make a point here that Paul wasn't around yet his gospel of grace is salvation by faith alone wasn't even revealed yet okay God still had this secret hidden with him uh, within him himself at this point so the body of Christ hasn't been built just yet the dispensation of grace hasn't been started yet so here we're with Jesus in the dispensation of the law and the coming kingdom. So looking at Matthew 25 verse 1 through 13, let's read it. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those uh, virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so lest there be not enough for us and you but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself and while they went to buy the bride the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut afterward came also the the other virgin saying lord lord open to us but he answered and said verily i say unto you i know you not Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Now, this parable has largely been taught as applying to the church age saints, that being us right now. But when we rightly divide and apply this scripture in context, we'll see how this interpretation is absolutely false. Here, Jesus is speaking about the tribulation saints in the 70th week of Daniel. And the timing is at the second coming. This parable doesn't in any way apply to the church, the body of Christ. Okay, let's take a closer look at the context. Look at the very first word, then. Then refers back to the original topic Jesus was talking about to the Jews here. The disciples asked Jesus back in Matthew 24, tell us when these things will happen. What will the signs look like? and of the end of the world they're asking Jesus about the second coming here okay and the term end of the world isn't the end of the world but it's translated as being end of this age okay referring to the second coming okay so keeping keep in mind the disciples are Jewish we're here in the dispensation of the coming kingdom the kingdom uh, dispensation of the law right before the coming kingdom and Jesus is telling them he wouldn't be setting up the earthly kingdom just yet, but later on. We see this in Matthew uh, chapter 21, verse 43. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you. Okay? 
it isn't coming just yet and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof so what is he saying right there he's saying i'm going to be taking what's going to that was uh, that which was supposed to be given to you i'm going to take it from you and i'm going to give it over to the gentiles through the apostle paul through a secret that hasn't been revealed yet okay he doesn't know any jesus didn't even know about this secret yet all right not even him yet he didn't you know he he said in other uh places in scripture that even he didn't know but the father alone when the second coming would be okay only after he ascended did he know so even the secret of paul's gospel uh the secret the body being built the members of uh the church and all that was still the secret okay but here jesus telling them that the kingdom would be taken from them it wouldn't be established just yet and it would be given to another nation okay he did know that much so Christ hadn't died yet at this point the church hadn't been created and Israel knew nothing of the gospel of grace at this point it was still a secret mystery to be revealed to Paul and by Paul later on now the disciples had no idea okay that what Jesus was talking about would be 2,000 years into the future this was still hidden in God at this point now we know that the only place the church is seen is in Paul's books, Romans through Philemon. That's it, period, okay? And nowhere in Paul's books is the church called the wife, the woman, or a virgin. Nowhere. You won't find it. Now, the church doesn't have to worry, okay, about how much of the Holy Spirit it has. The body of Christ has 100% of the Holy Spirit from day one. You're sealed with the Holy Spirit from the first day of your salvation. So this parable can't be talking about the church here. It has to be referring to the Jews, the kingdom saints in the tribulation period, just prior to the second coming. Keep in mind, the dispensation of grace, our salvation, will end at the rapture. Then a new dispensation, a new method of salvation will once again start up, okay? The old program, salvation by faith plus works okay under the law they will have to endure until the end and some will make it having the holy spirit at the second coming and some won't make it they'll fall victim to the tricks of the antichrist and they'll worship him instead so already we see a picture of some virgins and or jews having the holy spirit at the second coming and some Jews who don't have it, all right? We're already seeing that the parable that Jesus is talking about here with the ten versions, half not making it until the end. Looking at Matthew 24, 13, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? In other words, those that buy that, that, that don't worship the Antichrist, those that don't fall for the delusion, the lie, the falling away, okay, the falling away that's created by the Antichrist, uh, you know, God gives, puts them uh, in, a, in a situation where they believe his lie, God pours out delusion upon them so that they fall away, okay, that's when the falling away is, I did another video on that earlier today, Go ahead and watch it. You'll learn a lot from that if you're not sure about the falling away. So here we see those who make it to the end, those who keep the commandments of God and maintain faith in Jesus Christ to the end of Daniel's 70th week. This has nothing to do with the body of Christ today, folks. We'll be long gone at this point. Exactly seven plus years ago, long gone. So also note the context of what Jesus is saying here. He's also referencing how it will be in those days. Some will be taken and some will be left, as in the days of Noah, etc. If you really want to understand what Jesus was talking about when he said, as in the days of Noah, take a look at another video I made called, Who Are the Ones Taken and the Ones Left Behind in Matthew 24, 37. Watch that video and you'll be able to understand this parable of the ten versions much clearer as well. I can't stress enough how important understanding the seven dispensations of the Bible and keeping things in context truly is. You know, people get confused when, thin, when things are taken out of context 
and no understanding of dispensations exists and unfortunately that's 90 percent of the churches today they're all lost folks and it's sad it's very very sad and with the war and with the lord's help and by his will i'll do my best to change that and i hope i can count on you guys to help me to do that i mean we all need to work together we don't have much time left saints so in closing the ten virgins are the jews some who will endure until the end of the tribulation period and some who won't then at the end some will be taken and some will be left to go into the earthly kingdom jesus sets up for 1000 years thanks for studying with me everyone i'll see you on my next video